Hey everybody, Alex Bennett from Magger Spray Drones. I'm uh, gonna show you a quick feature um, that we've been working on. Um, we'll walk through it with the remote and everything. Screen recording's on. Basically, we have it now where we can do a boundary only pass. And then after we get done the first pass, we can go into offsets, shift it in, fly another boundary pass, shift it in, another one as many times as you want. So we're gonna start walking through that right now. So first thing I'm gonna do is go to the field. I'm gonna hit operate. I'm gonna set in my templates. So I have, we're gonna crank it up to 300 microns, two GPA. We will do a 12 foot operation height. So the next one down you're gonna see is operation speed. So this is a, uh, we're running on a new firmware update that you guys are gonna get. Um, as you see, if I go to operation speed, now I can go clear up to 50.5 feet per second. Yes, I said that, 50.5. Right now though, unless you have a high speed exemption, 45 feet per second is the legal limit. So be cautious of that. You will see actually on the controller, once we get past 32.8, a pop-up will come up and stuff like that. But yes, this drone will fly faster than what we originally were saying. Um, we worked with EA. Um, I don't know where Dennis is at. Dennis is around here somewhere. But anyhow, Dennis is the COO of China and the CEO of USA. Um, he is also the programmer that pretty much developed this whole app. So he's been working with us very, very closely every day. If we need something tweaked, adjusted to fit your guys' needs, he fixes it for us. Awesome to have. So anyhow, we are gonna set our operation speed to 45 feet per second. We're gonna leave all our enter and exit imitations alone. We're gonna set our, for now, we're gonna run a 30 foot swath. We're gonna disable the safety point because we're in a wide open field here. <clears throat> okay, so next thing is here, we're gonna go on our boundary. We're gonna click this until we have boundary only spray. For the first pass, we're gonna leave the border shrink alone. So we have the border shrink left alone, the boundary spray only on, and we're ready to fly the first boundary. So hit new operation, take off, I confirm. And then we're gonna slide to take off. Talking a little bit about a speed while the drone is flying, um, this drone will terrain follow at 50.5 feet per second. Um, you'll see if you have auto bypass on, intelligent bypass, it will limit you to 32.8 feet per second. But um, the way to do it is to take that off. So we're gonna let it spray its boundary. All right, so the drone just finished its first boundary pass. We're gonna go ahead and let the drone come home. We'll get out of the way, let your drone land, and then I'll show you how to shift in and we'll fly another boundary pass. All right, so our first boundary pass is completed. Um, we're working with EA right now. Speaking of Dennis, Dennis, Say hello to everybody. Hello. This is Dennis. Uh, he's the man behind the brains. So we landed, we did our first boundary pass. Um, we're working with them right now to keep that boundary pass where we can keep adding to it right now for you guys. If you wanna use them now on this new firmware, we're basically gonna end the field. We're gonna go back into that same field we just did. Operate again. We're gonna take off the safety point. We're gonna go boundary only. So basically now, if I'm thinking I have a 30 foot swath, I basically just did 30 feet. So now I need to do half of that. So I would, now I'm gonna set the drone to 45 feet. I'm gonna go to all boundary shrink. I'm gonna type in 45 feet, new operation. Successful task initialization. Please click take off to start and take off. So you can just keep doing this again and again. Like I said, we're working with them right now. Um, that way we can get multiple flights out of this boundary pass, hopefully, so we can basically fly it, shrink it, 
fly it without having to get out and get back into the mission. But for right now, um, we want to get this out to you guys to start testing. It's a cool feature to have. So yeah, so we're going to go ahead and take off and let it fly again. Thanks. Thanks.